Welcome Collective, it's the Rainbow Wizard. I'll be doing a reading for a you. So uh, I'll be doing uh, part one and part two uh, collective readings. So I will uh, upload the other one on the other channel. How are you all doing? I hope you are doing amazing. Uh, it is the 10th of March. So uh, I am going to give this an extra shuffle. I have already pre-shuffled and uh, Let's get to your reading. Uh, happy Mother's Day, basically, as well. If you are a mother, especially if you have a mother, that we all have, that's for sure, somewhere. And um, yeah, let's get to your reading collective. So these cards are quite heavy. It's raining a lot over here today. It's a strange, <laughs> it's a strange day. <laughs> we are in Pisces season. And... Uh, if you are Pisces, I wish you happy birthday. I hope you have a fabulous celebration. All right. Please like, subscribe, share the video if this resonates with you and leave a comment. So, collective. We have the ace of pentacles you could be waiting for a payout um there is recognition there could be pay rise there is definitely a boost in your pay you've been very resilient recently and uh, it's taken a lot of strength from you you could be surrounded by difficult energies difficult people jealousy it might not be people jealous like gel i mean this could be people around you. I'm picking up just difficult energies, just um, sucking the energy out of you. I'm seeing a person that wants to travel towards you. Um, and this person here is hurting. They are um, uh, perhaps hurting because they're, they are not able to connect with you. It's possible. I do see this person here. They do put you on a pedestal. Now, they might be a Capricorn. Uh, you might yeah, be dealing with a Capricorn. The person can also have, I'm picking up Libra as well, Libra. Um, but it's possible that this person has recently gone through a divorce or going through an ending of some kind. It's taken its toll out of them. There could be a court case. There could be quite a, like a really draining sort of ordeal going on with that. And there is constant kind of, I'm just, I'm getting in sort of this heavy energy. It's like, it's almost like they're not left alone with it. Um, it's sort of in the, is a monster standing in the middle of the road and you can't not see it. Like it's, it's there, um, something like that. There's like the energy around you. It's like lurking, just trying to make you stop, trying to confuse you. But I see that it's not long lasting. There could, you could be feeling like there's like a hidden enemy, just like people are not supporting you perhaps as well just feeling um yeah there could be just this very sort of the devil's kind of a mean energy it's like selfish energy someone could be angry and just it might not be with you but it's like somehow dumping there's some kind of dumping the energy because you could feel very confused a bit just feeling a bit tight like your hands are tied not really seeing clearly there's something about it's in your way right now that someone's trying to block i'm going to Look into that so we have a person here so you might be dealing with a virgo um they have the empress now this person have well they know you most likely or the way they look at you they look at you as someone very very beautiful uh they see it that you are a peaceful person uh, you are someone that really work hard and you are someone you could like nature you look like someone that like nature as well as you are also someone that's very creative and you create there is abundance around you but this person here, I'm picking up that there could be someone that is tied to them. Uh, this person could be a earth sign, so maybe earth sign dealing with an earth sign. There's some kind of nightmare situation around them. There has been, it's like the wheel is turning, bad luck could happen here because someone haven't, there's something about not shifting yet. Okay, so it's possible, yeah. It's possible here that maybe you're dealing with a Capricorn, but it's someone is very, it's like a, a little bit of a pain. It's painful, like difficult energy. Yeah, it doesn't have to be that way. Um, this person, I mean, they're very attracted to you. 
I am seeing or picking up uh, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra. Mm -hmm. This is someone that, see, they are playful. This person is someone playful. Um, it could be a Libra. Sagittarius, they could be dealing with the Sagittarius. It's something about someone being playful. And it's, they might have grown apart from someone. This person feels like you are a bit like more similar to them. I do see some energy G here about someone could have a um, abuse their powers. They could be obsessed with tarot readings, following this person's every move. Someone here is um, in the limelight, perhaps as well. They could be um, a fire sign. I see this person is um, it's something about wanting to collaborate with you. It's possible. Oh, don't you just love when the phone rings? <laughs> and I've got to put it on there. Oh, so I interrupted. Oh, so, yeah. Someone I wanted to collaborate with you. And... Um, Someone here is projecting something that's very toxic, projecting their stress, projecting their endings. This is someone that's very dramatic, wanting to take over someone's life. Could be Libra, Gemini. There's an ending here and someone is like in deep sorrow, but it's like, yeah, see, something will be revealed, maybe about a Leo, something about a heartache. It's going to come out in the open or something about an Aries. Uh, I have, sorry, I have Libra strong libra something about justice here we have capricorn we have aries we have pisces we have virgo someone's ways could be catching up with them they're not really getting support there and someone is going to court and they could lose and someone is quite mean someone is very tired here there's a secret also that was kept that's coming out and someone is raking in because of it yeah. So, um, all right, collective. So let's look into you have a king of pentacles. I mean, you could have earth in your chart. Uh, this person could have a child or there is a new beginning coming towards you. It's a it's like a lusty new love. It is possible, but this person here definitely have something going on around them. But I don't, don't feel like there's something about, well, they don't look, they could be a Capricorn you're dealing with, but I do see a, a more of an immature person there. So maybe it's not them because I'm picking up someone quite mature around you, someone wealthy, someone that you could meet through work as well. Uh, this is someone that is a happy relationship from from the get-go. Now, you might not have taken any action in love or like you have experienced difficulties in love. You've been like clouded judgment or someone have clouded your judgment. Someone has uh, interrupted you. Someone has been trying to steal a love away from you as well. Someone could try to steal away your happiness and try to sabotage, yeah. So there is an ending. There is an ending, someone's walking away, but the in ending is not to do with you. Um, I'm picking up that this person had left. So if it's left, some they left someone in Leo, potentially. It's like their world's falling apart and, you know, they're pursuing their happiness. So that's not your fault. But this person's coming quickly into towards you. You are protected here, but there is like an energy looking at you, wanting to sabotage you. They could be dealing with a Pisces. Uh, I just see like the sabotaging energy here. So definitely, uh, definitely protect yourself. It's very, very important. Protect yourself. Um, collective. Yeah. 
I see here someone that is meant to be with you. They're coming in with an offer. This person, so this person here could be a, a wealthy person. This person, uh, they're recognized for what they do. They, um, there is a big change. So this person here, it's like when they come into your life, your life will also change. You could go from like, there's something in your life that is like, there has not been love, for instance, and you have not really considered moving forward in love. Like there's been a lot of trials and tribulations in your love life. You could have been dealing with a fire sign that really exhausted you and treated you like an option or just is someone that you were involved with energetically at some point that is still around you, lurking around you, that could be a little bit jealous. There's just something about energies like people intruding where they shouldn't intrude in your life, like not like dumping sort of their bad energies. Now, here you are protected and there is someone that could try to, it's possible that there is a Capricorn that's jealous. There could be someone that is following this person and trying to sort of, kind of try to dump their energies, not yours. So if you are, let's say, feeling a bit under the weather or if you're feeling a bit, oh, like, I don't know, like not protected as well. There could be other reasons, but there is some kind of, someone's trying to almost like take your time, steal your time as if you don't have anything better to do. Taking your kindness for weakness. Why is this tower here? There's a big change collective happening in your life that is long. Like you feel, you feel it intuitively as well. You are creating, you are manifesting, but someone here could be quite narcissistic. They think, something to do with the Leo's energy, thinking that they have some sort of godly, worldly, oh, you know, if they feel bad, the whole world is going down with them. It's like that. <laughs> it's a bit mad. Yeah. See, someone had left a collaboration that was toxic. It didn't work. There is a loss. You could also have left a Leo, a fire sign out in the cold. They caused the tower moment, uh, this person. So there is also, I'm picking up, yeah, a new person coming towards you. See, someone here is heartbroken. Heartbroken could be an Aries over a Libra, Taurus. Someone got their own <clears throat> grief to deal with, basically, and they're kind of, they, this is a soulmate uh, that went over maybe to collaborate with someone that wasn't really collaborating with them. This person uh, could be a Leo or Libra, but they collaborated with someone based on <clears throat> seduction, based on, it wasn't a foundation, and they, there could have been a loss. Um, here they they were quite foolish when they did that so it's like the foundation of the relationship wasn't equal give and take so they could have lost a lot see they are now taking a new leap of faith here uh i mean they could have got themselves in a difficult situation based on just staying there i see this person taking what they can and they are moving towards you i see that they they know that they should not stay in this situation. So it's possible that this person here is kind of healing, dealing with the situation. They could be like detoxing as well. They could have just got like everything got to their head. Like they had to get something out of their system. I'm seeing like someone just like losing their shit. Uh, <clears throat> there's like an expensive court case as well. <clears throat> like they could have after that drink a lot. Like it's stressful. This could be a Leo coming towards you again. They're leaving a Leo or Pisces. Leaving a Leo Pisces or Capricorn I'm feeling here. Uh, now someone could again just be stuck to them. Uh, but there is clarity what they're doing. Someone here will not leave this person alone they are dealing with a narcissistic type of personality someone that just is like just you can't even figure this person out almost like it's just really difficult um yeah so 
something got delayed here based on them yeah see there's an ending now transformation they know that you are a soulmate so they're coming towards you collective but it's possible someone else is getting to you before someone is trying some kind of magic some kind of voodoo some kind of shit <laughs> this person could be a female leo female capricorn can also be a male here uh, so apply that to how it resonates for you i'm going to jump over to the um black rainbow uh, channel so uh there is going to be part two if you want to follow me there that's fantastic if not uh i am yeah wishing you a fabulous weekend and uh, thank you for watching